Hello, hello, happy Halloween and spoopy season. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle humps. Ready to race to you. Yes, I have gotten a haircut since you've last seen me. I got bangs, I got some extra layers, I got it shorter in the back, I'm on a wheelie chair so I can do this. I just ran into the, oh my knee. Anyway, tomorrow, Wednesday, October 16th, my roommates and I, and basically our friend Megan, cause she, her and Amanda, basically put this whole party together, just happens to be at my apartment. We are hosting a Halloween soiree. We are the witches of the Upper East Side hosting a really cute little Halloween party. And everyone's just supposed to wear black. Um, you don't even really have to, it's just, you know, gonna be a fun, spoopy time. But of course, I could not just wear black. Hello, motorcycle. Yes, we all know that you struggle with your sense of self and your masculinity is toxic. Thank you for letting us all know. Anyway, back to, you know, witchy feminine. Oh, oh, he really came that way. I of course could not just wear black and like be a normal person because I have to be extra in every single thing that I do. So when I was looking through, you're just gonna hear sounds in the background and you're just gonna have to deal with it. When I was looking through my black dresses, I remembered I got this little doodad. If you wanted to be Wednesday Adams, it would be perfect. But I love The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and it really reminded me of the Weird Sisters. Usually their dresses have like lace collars and they wear, you know, solid um, dresses. But I was like, do you know what? There already are those weird sisters. Why don't I be like the other weird sister who's like quirky and fun because I'd already found this cute little headband at Rite Aid that has like a little, little witch's hat on it. So I was gonna wear this anyway. And then I was like, well, if I'm a weird sister, they don't really wear these little hats. But if I was like, if I was just like the kitschy, you're joking. If I was in the Weird Sisters and I was my own character, I would be like the kitschy weird one that like is not only a witch, but thinks it's like so cute that I'm a witch and like I have to be super extra. So I would obviously wear this like little hat. It had like this disgusting bow on it that I just like took off so you can kind of see right there where um, I like literally ripped it off and there's like still glue, but ew. Oh, it's just hot glue residue. Anywho, that rhymed. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this. And then I found these earrings today at H&M and I had to get them. They're little crystally spiders. Duh, how cute are those? And then when I went to Urban the other day, I found these freaking black fishnet tights that are stoned with iridescent stones in different sizes. So like, obviously that would be me as a witch. And then these shoes I originally bought, um, and I'm still gonna wear them, to wear to Enigma when I go in May. I think I might like stone them by then, but we'll see how that goes. But I thought in the meantime, these would be perfect to wear. They're cute, um, they're high heels, but I will not be leaving the apartment. So, you know, take pictures in them, wear them around a little bit, sit, and then just take them off. So those are fun. So I'm going to show you how I'm gonna do my makeup. So this is, uh, today is Tuesday. It's the day before the party. So I'm gonna basically test out my look today. And if it looks horrible, then figure out what else I'm gonna do. I tried on the dress already and I actually cut the dress. It was like a little bit longer, but I cut it so it hits at a better length on my legs. And yeah, so if you wanna see this look all come together with makeup and everything, keep on watching. All right, I got the outfit on except for the shoes. I think I might belt it. Amanda said that I could borrow her Gucci belt, so we might have to do that. I already have makeup on, just like basic, which has like mostly sweated off and gotten gross because I've been out and about today. And I don't really need to look perfect right now because this is just testing it out. So sorry, I'm not gonna look 
the best that I can look. The Weird Sisters always have like a really bold smoky eye. So for that, I'm gonna use the Venus, Lime Crime Venus palette. I wanna use like this as a base and then that to like really darken it up. I'm gonna use this dark lipstick called Smoky Rose from Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. So that's the plan. First, I'm just going to powder my face because I'm kind of greasy. Now I'm gonna bronze with my Too Faced sample that I still haven't run out of. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I think um, tomorrow I will do a cream contour and possibly like a full like foundation look just so I can look like severe and snatched. Next I'm going into blush with this old, this this Ulta Velvet Blush in Princess. It's a nice like reddish color that's like brownie-ish so it like blends nicely with a contour. And now I'm gonna use the Ulta Minerals Blush in Tiger Lily. I love blush and I'm definitely gonna do some on my nose, especially because this like persona that I'm going for is definitely like a cutesy witch that's like, oh my god, I'm part of the weird sisters, but like, oh my god, <gasps> did that get on here? Thank god. You know how like on shows and stuff, there's always like the really like excited friend that's like, ah, I wanna like be cool. That's the character I'm going for right now. For highlight, I got this on sale, this Fenty Beauty kilowatt foil highlighter palette i mean we're going crazy so we might as well go crazy am i right i think i'm gonna go with stone cold wow that's yeah that's a lot i don't know if you can tell lighting might not be the best should i turn that light on maybe did that even make a difference <laughs> whatever um okay so that's the highlight i guess i'll put a little bit on my nose. Now for the eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna start with, just so I can smoke it out, I'm gonna start with Creation, which is this color right here. And I'm just gonna put that like all over the lid, like very messily. Like look how messy that is. And now I'm gonna smoke it out. And I usually don't take eyeshadow all the way in, but for this, we're taking it all the way in and just blending that out. Okay, so that's just kind of like, so I can blend everything out from there. Yep, 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 yep. Now I'm gonna go in with Muse, which is this color, but focus this more just on the lid and on the outer part of the lid. So we're really gonna darken it here, bring it a little bit in, but kind of like blend it the further in you go. Yeah, that looks good, ooh, yay. Okay, so right here, it's like a little severe. So I'm gonna take this fluffy blending brush that has nothing on it and just like blend it out. The other side of this brush is this like eyeliner angled thing. I'm gonna take that same color Muse, but I'm gonna do this. See, I'm going from like where my bottom lash line is I'm just going up. It's pointing towards my brow right here. I'm just gonna do that. Kind of making a wing, if you may. And now I'm gonna do that and drag it in. <sighs> this is a lot of work. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this brush that's like a smaller but fluffy brush and use that to 
to blend it. Not really out as much as like up. Actually, I want it to go higher. So we're gonna go with this one again and take it up more. Now I'm gonna take the first color that we started with, Creation. Remember, we put it up here so we could blend. And I'm gonna take that and blend this. I'm gonna take more Muse, the red color, and put it down here. Now I'm gonna take the bigger one and put more Muse. Ooh, look at that. Um, that looks fun. Do you know what? I'm just gonna blend it all the way up to the brow. <laughs> Cause I feel like it. Um, okay, so now we're gonna take this brush. Wow, can I show you it? And we're gonna do the same colors again. We're gonna do creation. Bring it a little bit down here, just on halfway out. Halfway out. And a little tiny bit of Muse and just do that on the outer. So we're kind of smoking it. All right, I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did over here, over here, but I'm not gonna explain it because that took so freaking long and this video is already gonna be so long because of this whole section. But like, look at this eye compared to this eye. This eye is like, and this eye is like, hello. Like, isn't that wild? Makeup is so crazy. All right, here I go. Wish me luck. Hopefully I can do the same thing on that side. already messed it up why is that side so much crazier I'm taking some of this divine color which is like more neutral and just putting it oh that was a mistake <laughs> shouldn't have done that <gasps> oh no what am I doing why I'm making it crazy I'm making it look worse well, now I know what not, what not to do tomorrow. See, this was good. We're just gonna do the bottom now because I'm kind of just accepting that that one looks crazy. I'm bringing this in more. I feel like I also like usually do my makeup with like my light in my room and it like looks good. And this lighting is just like not great. My under eyes look bad. Okay, stop hating on myself, but like low key, I just, it's annoying because I know that I could look better. I also got these lashes. So I guess we'll try those on. Let's see, these are the Ardell 3D Faux Mink 854s. Let's hope they look good. I do already have mascara on. I usually put more mascara on after I put on false lashes to like, blend them together <sighs> that's a trick this is a trick that I learned from some drag queen she like breathes like this on it <sighs> to like apply heat and drying I really don't like that the like white of that band right there is showing so I'll probably cut that it would definitely look better if I put mascara on. Okay, the lashes look kind of wonky, but you know, that's how they're gonna be for now. I really wanna fix my bangs. Okay, that's better. Now the lipstick, I do already have a lipstick on. Ooh, it's so tickly. This isn't turning out as dark 
Okay, that looks dark. I just need to do multiple coats, I guess. The Weird Sisters lips are always dark and it's like, I feel like a very iconic part of their look. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Love it, love it, love it, live for it. outro i already took off my lashes and the hat and the belt that's the look so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna vlog tomorrow during the party so stay tuned for that it should be really fun i'm really excited i don't even know how it's gonna turn out because i'm not in on the party planning so it's kind of exciting it'll be a little surprise i hope you guys enjoyed and maybe got some inspo i mean if you're not a fan of sabrina this is also just like a cute witch outfit slash makeup look that maybe i might wear on just a night out sometime. I definitely like wanna change it up a little bit, maybe add an eyeliner, not sure. But for a trial run today, I think I did pretty well. Wow, my posture is so bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween, goodbye.